Hello again, y'all. Silver Tempest, the final mainline Sword and Shield era set has finally released, and we have got a an entire booster box to open of it today. There will be one more Sword and Shield set that is releasing in the upcoming year, I believe in January. However, that will be a special set, like Hidden Fates or Shining Fates. So it will not be releasing any booster boxes for it, and is considered a holiday or special set. So, Silver Tempest, our final mainline Sword and Shield era set, and here we go. Get our booster box all set up here. Hopefully I didn't sneak any packs behind it, and I will say... The packs look very sparkly, more more than usual for some reason. Let's take, I believe there should be four, four artworks. Regilecki, Lugia, probably the main headline from the set, Alolan Vulpix and Regidrago, with Alolan Vulpix, of course, being the ETB. And let's see if the camera will focus all right with it in the background, and we will go ahead and start on our booster box. And man, that is going to be tough to focus, but I think it'll work. We'll start with pack one on the right side. And there is the code card. I am going to keep a good amount of the codes for myself, however. As pack number one starts us off with our water energy, Toxic Croak, Professor Layton, uh, Laventon, excuse me, Matang, Ball Toy, Sunkern, Fampy, and Didi. Murney, Archeops, Rare Reverse, never can pronounce that guy, and Metagross Hollow. I'm going to try to remember to do the card trick for the first four booster packs to get a good feel of the set, go through them a little slower, see some of the common and uncommon artwork. However, after that, I am, as long as I remember, not going to do the card trick and just go straight through them so we can get through the booster box quicker. We got Golbat, Furrowside Girl, Donphan. A Rufflet, Fennekin, Durant, Emolga, Beldum, Archin, there we go, the other reverse, and an Hisuian Braviary for the rare, and let me see if I can get this to focus now too. There we go, there is the set symbol for our Silver Tempest set. And pack number three with Lugia. The set did release this past Friday, which was November 11th and Veterans Day. So thank you to everyone here in America who has served, kept us safe. We got our Darkness Energy, Honchkrow, A Raichu, Ferrothorn, Snorunt, Sandile, Fennekin, Murkrow, Beldum, Torcat, Reverse, and Gardevoir non hollow. So just a hollow so far, nothing even from the Trainer Gallery. But I suppose this is a good good few packs to get us going and see some of the artwork. We'll go through the upcoming packs a little quicker as we have pack number four with our energy. Unidentified Fossil, Eriquanid, Stone Drinner, Whalmer, Dratini, Phoebus, Fampy, Litten, Articuno, which is a reverse rare, not too bad, and... There we go, a VMAX for Reggie Lecky. Nothing too crazy, but we finally did get ourselves a hit as we move on with our following pack. Just go ahead and completely rip through that one. And we've got ourselves a Venonat, Dewpider, Spinda. Interesting that it's a very interesting artwork. Of course, you got like a million variants of Spinda in the games that you can get. We got Anorith and a Milotic for the rare. More Peko, Capturing Aurora, Aurora, and a Slur Puff. And our Vulpix booster pack. Still a little interesting to me that Vulpix is such a prominent Pokemon in the set. But I guess that's what they wanted. There's a Pikachu, another Pikachu in the set. We got Growlithe, or another Pikachu, I should say, released in the Sword and Shield era. We got Rufflet Reverse, and ooh, very nice new hollow 
for an earth and seal stone, the V star power. However, that will end up working in the games. Drac Loke again and a lantern. Alrighty, Lugia from our next booster pack. And we start off this one with a Petalo, a Chinchow, Pharaoh Seat, Pikachu, Ponyta, Whale Lord, which is just an uncommon reverse, and Amistar V. Another Ultra Rare. Alter, Dedene, and Braxen. Braxen, however you pronounce it. We got Regilucky. I probably do need to watch a few episodes in the anime that would give me a little better idea as to how to pronounce a handful of these newer Pokemon. We got Fungus, Sandy Gast, Relicanth, Halucha, Emergency Jelly, interesting reverse, with a Verizon for the non hollow rare jinx brandon and altaria i will say i have seen a few openings of silver tempest already although compared to previous sets i'm actually going in pretty pretty blind comparatively we've got ourselves a stunfisk for the next pack tolga maduro then we got esper smeargle litten medicham rare reverse and cobalion for our non hollow rare serena which is available and a full art. So pretty lackluster box so far, but I will say that I will be expecting a good amount of hits as we go through it later in the box. Although I am surprised we have not gotten a trainer gallery card, and we still have not as we have an Arcanine rare. Zygar then for the actual rare, and Archon, Clang, and Claydol. Alrighty, I think we're about a quarter of the way through the booster box, maybe even an extra pack further than a quarter. There is a code card, as this pack has Ellie Gim, Fungus, Sandy Gast, Relicanth, Halucha, Sandy Gast Reverse, and Keldeo, non hollow rare. We're getting all those Gen 5 legendaries in the rare spot, however. Lowland Vulpix again here. And Pikachu will start off this pack. So we got Norbat, Tuga Maduro, Sandile, Swirlix, Candice Reverse, and Clink, 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 Clink for the rare. And Lance as our final trainer. Not hanging out with Charizard today, I suppose. Alrighty, next pack here has a Spinarak, a Ralts, Krogunk, Solosis, Zubat, Reverse of a Draclok, and a Hollow, Archeops, Glalie, Candice, and Bohemian for our uncommons. And still looking for some stuff that is more than just a Hollow. A little bit disappointed so far, but we got a Dewpider, Ponyta, Venonat, Ralts, Spinda, Fledgling Reverse, and Arcanine non hollow Rare. Thankfully, it is a booster box, and you are guaranteed some relatively pull decent pulls overall. I'm going to get all the bulk and move it to the side and start a new pile. Got our next booster pack here as we move toward the halfway marker. Alrighty, we've got ourselves a Vulpix, Emolga, Chimico, Buneary, Drowsy, Lance Reverse, and Noivern, non hollow rare. Man, Anorith and Meowstic. There are 195 cards in the main set, not including secret rares, nor the 30 of the trainer gallery cards. The set coming out in January, February era will actually feature 70 of those extra cards. And there we go. There is one of them. Finally, we got ourselves Gordy, number 24 in the set, or in the subset. And then ho -Oh v There we go. Not Lugia, but we do have a ho -Oh v Delusion and V-Guard Energy. All right. 
So very pleased we finally did have a relatively good booster pack. So we start off with our next one here with a Mistrevis, Swablu, Swirlix, Rotom, Dreepy. Ooh, Radiant Alakazam. There we go, first Radiant. I believe Alakazam is the slightly better one of the three. Frostless as the rare, and V-Star Marker then. Lance and Clang. All right, final booster pack from our first half of the box. Let's see if we can get one more hit on the side. We got Vulpix, Snorunt, Fletchling, Ferroseed. Reverse Quad Stone. There's some very interesting trainer cards, I will say, in the set. And Amoongus for the non hollow rare. Serena to end the pack as we continue on with Lugia. I believe there are four alternate arts, four or five maybe. I'm not positive. Of course, you have the main one being Lugia. Honestly, unknown seems pretty cool to me, that one. I would love to pull. Krogunk, Solosis. Oh, there we go. Number 29 out of 30 in the subset. We got Rayquaza VMAX. Now, these black and gold cards, unfortunately, aren't the most uh, popular or expensive, but I will gladly take it. They're not, not easy to pull. And then a Talonflame for the rare. And Ferroside Girl, Lopany, and Quadstone. So here we go. We are finally starting to get into some of the pulls. Completely rip into that booster pack. And there is that next code card as this one starts off with a Venonat, Dewpider, Spinda, Phoebus, Noibet, Capturing Aurora, Reverse, and Lilligant for the non hollow, the Hisuian form, of course. A lot of these sets still getting based off of places in the Hisuian region. One more code card. We got ourselves Dreepy then. Fampy, Fletchling, Chimico, Phoebus, Spinarak Reverse, and Incineroar. Very interesting artwork lying down there for the rare. Ooh, first time seeing Leafy, Camo, Poncho, Uncommon, Palosand, and Matang. Alrighty, next pack here. We've got Pikachu once again, first for the pack. We got Ponyta, Petalil, Chen Chao, Pharaoh Seed, Swab Blue Reverse, with, there we go, another Ultra Rare, just a V, but Hisuian Arcanine V, number 90 in the set. Toxicroak, Professor Laventon, and Matang. I'm going to take the rest of the packs out and put them in the back. Got our empty booster box there. Get our bulk all sorted once again, or not sorted, but put it off to the side and continue on with the final third of the booster back box or so. And here we go. Next pack here starts off with Litten, a Murkrow, Swablu, Rotom, Buneary. We do have a Flaffy number three. Very nice. I love these. Love these common but very cool artwork cards. And then a double hollow for us. Metagross. Not a double, but a double for the box. We have Gym Trainer for the first time there. Not sure why we doubled up on hollows. There's typically only a handful pulled per, per booster box. And we've already doubled on them. But regardless, we continue on with our next pack here. Stunfisk. Togo Maduro. Esper. Smeargle. Litten. Glalie Reverse, and Zygarde again for another doubling up on the rare. Raichu, that might be the first time I've seen that. And Pharaoh Thorn. Another Reggie Booster Pack here. The Dragon Drago version. And then we've got ourselves Indidi, Ball Toy, Sunkern, Clink, Petal, Hunchcrow Reverse, and Zero Aura for the rare. A lot of non hollow rares in legendary format or being used for legendary Pokemon. Then you have others 
like Arcanine and Metagross, the more popular but non-legendary cards being used for the Hollow Rares. Just an interesting thought. We got Ralts, Fletchling, Dratini, Clink, Petalil Reverse, and Keldeo, non-Hollow Rare. So going on a little bit of a drought now as we end with Slurpuff. Let's see if we can get a V-Star. We have pulled the V-Max beginning of the box, but no V-Star. We got Sandile, Swirlix, Marnie, NDD Reverse, and Arcanine Non-Hollow. Behemoth and Brakeson. Faultix now. I'm actually wondering now, is Ninetales even in the set? Because I do not recall seeing one in previews or so far today. We've got a Spinarak, Ralts, Krogunk, Solosis, Zubat. Oh, there we go. Number eight, Pissimian for the Trainer Gallery card. And Fionn, or Fioni. Then Dragonair might be the first in common again. We've seen that one. Venomoth and Wallace. So, again, seeing some of those uncommons, I believe, for the first time. Very interesting. Let's sort up our cards, and let's continue on with a Lugia pack art. Alrighty, this one's got ourselves Durant, Ralts, Fletchling, Dratini, Clink, Dratini Reverse, and Victini for the, again, a legendary non-hollow rare. Just seems to be what they decided to do for Silver Tempest, and hey, I'm not against it. Legendaries are always... Always fun to pull, especially when you're a kid and you see one. And there's the next code card for someone. We got a Vulpix, non, non ice form, Emolga, Charmico, Baneri, Drowsy, Reverse of, there we go, there is a Nine Tails in the set, and a Dragonite Hollow. We got Gym Trainer, Curlia, and Toracat as one of my piles of rares and reverse hollows just tipped over a little bit, but we'll continue on. Alrighty, I do see something in the middle here. We've got ourselves a Mistrevis, Whalmer, Murkrow, Emolga, Meditite, Duosion, Duosion, excuse me, and ooh, a rainbow. It is a rainbow lance, nothing uh, too crazy as rainbows haven't unfortunately been too popular as of late, but it is a rainbow I will very gladly take from our booster box, Waylord and Ninetales. And that leaves us with, what, five packs left? So not looking like we're going to get an alternate art. We finally at least got some some good secret rare. We got ourselves then Mistrevis, Swablu, Swirlix, Rotom, Dreepy, Buneary Reverse, and a Skunk Tank V. So there we go, another Ultra Rare at the very least. Let's see if we can get some type of full art in our final four booster packs. We've got Halucha, Rufflet, a Vulpix, Drowsy, Growlithe, Togemaduro Reverse with Miss Magius for the non hollow rare all right next booster pack coming down to the wire there's the code card we've got ball toy sun kern fampy indeedy marnie rapidash reverse rare and armaldo non hollow all right final two packs left let's get them done quick see if we can get any last magic at all, we've got a Zubat, Eugem, Fungus, Sandygast, Relicanth, Miss Magius Reverse, and a Hollow Legendary, actually, Terrakion. Regenerative Energy, and lots of Energy Henry for Trainers. And final booster pack here of Silver Tempest. Thank you guys for watching. There will be plenty of more videos in the future coming up, as there are a ton of products I still have to open. we got Snorunt. Sandal, Fennekin, Murkrow, Beldum. Ooh, we end with a Radiant, at least, Radiant Jirachi, and Alolan Vulpix V Full Art. Perfect way to end the box with Double Banger. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time with more Silver Tempest openings.